Hey guys, my name is Justin. Uh, I really want to discuss the development of the home, specifically parenting styles, importance of parents, and the effects of divorce. I really want to focus on the the importance of parents, that they really, the role that they have on their children through the styles and on the effects that divorce can have on them. This topic is really interesting to me because I have three older sisters, they're married, they have children, and I really get to see the um, effects and the parenting styles that they use and be able to compare and contrast them. The first subject that I like to cover is parenting styles. Uh, there's a quote by Margaret Kerr here on the slide you guys can see. It says that parenting styles were first applied to adolescent development in the late 1980s. Uh, the three parenting styles that she focused on was authoritative parents, authoritarian parents, and permissive parents. Uh, there's two different approaches that parents can take towards these parenting styles, um, and it's uh, the unidirectional approach and the bidirectional approach, which I'll elaborate a little bit more after we go through the uh, parenting styles. Authoritative parents uh, usually have uh, high expectations and uh, their expectations are clear. Uh, they also have rules that need to be followed such as homework, chores, bedtime. Uh, they might they would probably expect their children to have better grades such as like A's and B's. Um, their chores, they're, they're gonna have specific chores that are on like a either a weekly basis or a daily basis. Um, they also have a set bedtime that they're in bed every single night no matter what. They're kind of in that in that range. Um, uh, for chores, they, like their rules, they, and their ex high expectations, um, they might have to do their chores uh, on a daily basis. So before they can go out and hang out with friends on that day or on the weekend, that they have to have their room clean. They have to, you know, clean up part of the yard, or you know, they might have to clean up their toys that are laying around in the room just to make it, uh, just to set some type of ground rules with them, so they can learn how to get stuff done before they go out or they, you know, you have to work hard before you play hard. Authoritarian parents are uh, more so the ones that you see that, like, you would kind of classify parents as that they seem, like, uptight or controlling or very strict towards their children. Um, their rules are non-negotiable, like, let's say, like, with their bedtime, their homework, and their chores, like, they have to have their homework done before they have dinner. Um, so right when they come home from school, it's straight to homework. Um, they have to have their room clean constantly. They might have to make their bed before they go to school every single morning or before they, like, right when they wake up. Um, their, their rules are non-negotiable. So if your bedtime is, let's say, 8.30 or, let's say, 9, then their children will be in bed at 8.30 or 9. And they, like, I mean, they will not let their children go to bed after that or anything. Um, they're kind of more the strict parents. I had a uncle that was like this and their children were in bed by seven o'clock and up by five and they had set bedtimes they had to wake up at certain times they had to have their homework done completely before dinner no matter what there was no negotiable um terms for these rules that they had for them uh these these are really just really you would really classify these parents as the most strict that you i mean these children have no freedom truly the last parenting style that I'll cover is uh, permissive parents. Uh, permissive parents are the complete opposite um, from author uh, authoritarian parents. Uh, they usually don't really have a specific bedtime for the children. Uh, the kids might not have any chores. There's not necessarily any like strict strict rules like, you know, hey tonight you can stay up till you know nine nine thirty maybe ten, and then like the other nights they might go to bed at seven. It's kind of the kids don't necessarily set their own rules, but they don't necessarily have rules uh, to be followed, um, so they kind of just kind of do what they want. They kind of, um, they're pretty much their own rule makers. Um, there's two different styles that parents usually um, approach their uh, style of parenting. Um, the first one is unidirectional. Uh, there's only one way. There's one style of parenting. There's no combination of two styles. Um, an example is uh, an authoritarian uh, style of parenting. Uh, they'll enforce their rules uh, consistently, uh, no matter what. They they don't really negotiate with their rules. Um, it's either really their way or the highway, and the children really don't have a decision. Uh, the second one is bidirectional. Um, there are multiple ways. Um, of parenting, uh, they usually use like two different styles of parenting. Uh, an example would be, uh, let's say, like an authoritative parent, and they're very authoritative towards um, 
bedtimes and homework and you know they have to have their homework done before they can go out and play that night or before they can go out the yard and do some stuff or you know they have to have uh, specific bedtimes and or you know their uh, the stuff has to be done before they go to soccer practice or some type of sport um, but they also may be permissive towards chores uh, so they they might they might not have chores or they might not have very many chores or they could really just say that their chores could be done um, in a specific amount of time, just kind of like, yeah, whenever. This next section is going to go over the importance of parents. Uh, the first quote that I have says, uh, the childhood stages witness most of, uh, witnesses most of the child personality features through the parental style process, such as his concept for the group surrounding him. Um, this is kind of saying that, like, he, uh, a child will pick up, um, personality features from the parents and the the style that they choose uh, just because they're witnessing and they're watching and they're learning from those parents. Uh, the second quote that I have um, says the environment see that the children in relation with his parents uh, and the determiner for personality development tracks in childhood and in the next stages of life. Um, the importance of parents it's, it's just really it's crucial for the parents for um, to teach their child and it, it kind of grows their child um, and teaches them how to act through the parenting styles that they have chosen to raise their kids. Uh, I have two pictures down here. One of them is a kid just sticking out his tongue, putting his hands up, doing the whole nana nana boo boo uh, game and uh, also an adult doing the same exact thing. And it's kind of showing that like uh, parents, are, um, the way that they choose uh, the style to um parent towards their children, that their children were, are going to pick up characteristics that their uh, parents do, that they will carry that on later in life, that it's not just for their childhood and they won't remember it, but they're going to remember it for the rest of life and it might be the way that they raise their children someday. Uh, the third quote that I have is, early interactions uh, with parents play a central role in children's social, socio-emotional uh, development as these experiences serve as the foundation for children's regulatory functioning. Um, the definition of social emotional is a process that consists of variations that occur in an individual's personality, emotions, and relationships with others during one's lifetime. Um, the role of a parent is is very very important is very crucial. Uh, if the parents kind of neglect the child, then that child might learn how to or would learn to neglect other people or um, certain aspects of life. Um, if, if the parent is playing a central role in the children's life, it, it really gives them a foundation um, for their personality, for their emotions, for their relationships with other people. Um, it's really just growing steps for them as, as long as that parent is that central role um, in their life from the beginning and until they become adults when they become their own individual. Here are some uh, rates and statistics about divorce. Uh, in the mid or in the 19th century, uh, marriage ending in divorce was roughly around 5%. Um, it's estimated that half of the first marriages um, will end in divorce uh, in the recent years around our like society right now. Um, one in every six adults experience two or more divorces. Um, he also states that half of all divorces uh, involve children under the age of 18. Uh, this is a pretty high percentage for children that are under the age of 18, and they're still through their uh, developmenting stage and you know still growing as... Um, as a person and they, they it's really important for parents to be around and to be there to teach their children to well, what to do and how to live their life and how to make steps to be a successful person um, uh, divorce uh, is a very hot topic right now um, there's a lot of this sort of thing going on through um, society at the moment uh, the first quote that I have is divorce brings about many changes in children's lives. Um, divorce has many effects, not just on the people and the parents who are divorcing, but also on the younger children. Um, they they really feel a responsibility um, for their parents' divorce if they're young because they, they only know their parents and it's them, and you know they have a connection that they're going to think that it's their fault that their parents divorce. Um, it can also cause personality changes. Uh, a kid that maybe have, would was open with everybody and was that open child and you know was not afraid of anything um, might kind of set back with their social and kind of like not go out with their friends as much or not talk as much or not be as open to other people. Um, they might also have emotional issues that might cause them to um, kind of neglect everything or push feelings aside and you know they have to be stronger for certain reasons. 
Um, it really can cause a lot of social and emotional damages uh, if the parents divorced, uh, especially for children who are younger age. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this presentation. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of the semester. Good luck.